video me wash. Uh -huh. It's my daughters. My daughters and son in law. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see I have my family here. Um if you watch if you watched my previous video and you saw that uh I found a sugar mill in Houston uh from an from the old waters plantation so it kind of piqued my interest into looking into if there were more slave porters and so as I began to look to see whether there were more slave porters I found out that um there are a lot in Louisiana um Maryland has a whole lot of them and Texas only has that particular site maybe two because we were once owned uh by Mexico but Louisiana is like swarming with slave uh, plantations and uh, some of those plantations are st still have remnants that are still standing but the Laurel Valley plantation is very unique because uh, the plant the slave quarters are still very much intact uh, there's been a lot of movies that have been uh, shot on location at the Laurel Valley plantation so we are leaving Houston right now and we're headed to Thibodeau, Louisiana. So, yeah. And so I drugged the rest of my family with me. I can't wait. I'm so excited. We've been talking about this for a long time. Yes. So we're finally doing it. <laughs> yeah. And so I think it's good for you to know your history. Yeah. And to know where you came from. And so that's what we're about to do. So this is one of many that I will be visiting. There's my husband right there. This will be interesting. So we're headed there and so it's probably a five hour drive from Houston. And so that's what we're doing. And so I will check back in with you guys when we get there. So yep. Okay guys, we're now here at, we just arrived here in Thibodeau, Louisiana to the Laurel Valley Plantation. I'm here at the museum part here. We just arrived. We have not gotten into the slave quarter area here, but here you can see the old equipment here. There's an old train and this is the Laurel Valley store. This is something that they put after the plantations, you know, this is, it says established in 1905, so it was not here during that time. But this is America's largest 19th and 20th century sugar plantation complex. Um, there's some old houses there, if you can see over there. Old equipment. But right now at this time, let's go. We're going to go into the museum. Unbeknownst to me, I did not know that you can book a tour. But it says 24 hours in advance. They do it at 10 and at 2. So we're going to go see, you know, if we can tour, walk. I'm not sure. This is my first time coming here, but this is an old store here. As you can see, the old artifacts here, old things here. Everything's old, like arts and crafts. And then the store was established in 1905. You see that? Look at there. Please support your local chickens. There is. Going in, this is an old election box here. Look at all these old things, forks, knives, old signs. This is an old telephone now. Oh, 
a lesson before dying. I think, was this filmed here? A lesson before dying? Oh, it was? All three of his books. Really? Ernest Gaines. So this is, she is just a ledger that you're keeping of people that visit? Keep her name. Oh, okay. Sign in. You, you, you can sign it or not sign it. So are there tours offered here, or you can just go walk up and down the street and kind of take a look? Uh, you can walk up and down the street. Yeah. But uh, if you want a tour, you have to call a number and uh, uh, make a reservation. And okay. Okay. Where's a good place to park your car so you don't be in the way of traffic coming down? Alongside the road. Just alongside the road. Fine. Oh, look at all of these antique things. There's not that much traffic. Uh, okay. Next week they have a festival. Oh wow! All the way in the back, so I mean it would be. Did you hear the stuff? Get the preserved here, sweet memories, cane syrup. Oh my God! My daddy loved sugar cane syrup. It was not one of my favorites, but I... so unique. So you see this museum is full of nothing but history. Look at the old cash register. Oh my God, I remember going in the store as a kid. I always wanted to touch, but it wasn't this quite antique, but you guys may remember it. There's some renditions. Like old pictures. Oh my goodness. There's the Laurel Valley that's showing the schoolhouse, the general store, the overseer's house. Look, the overseer's house. Watch over the slaves. It's the watchman and the overseer. What is this? See the overseer's house? Oh, watch over the slave. That's the double tenant house. We're going to go walk down and see this. Uh, as we see, Ernest Gaines, all of his books. They were made into movies, Don Cheadle. A Lesson Before Dying was filmed here on location. There's a Hallmark movie that was filmed here called Old Man. Uh, Angel Heart. Lisa Bonet was filmed here. Um, a Gathering of Old Men. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a unique place to come film. Look at the old Wayne, Wayne Sugar, old tools. Logging gear, water, uh, old water pump, traps, farming equipment. Look at the Eagle Pierce Stone Globe, symbol of Case Tractor Company. My God. They have um, the store items, medicines. Oh, you saw that? It's all in there, yeah. Old bottles. There's an old table back here. Let's go see this old plows. Look at there. That old hat right there. That's just deteriorating right there. A typewriter. Old typewriters there. There's a table set there. This museum is just look like a plethora of anything you could possibly think of, of antiques. Try it today, buy it today. Look at that car. Woods model number five, $380. This is an old car. Look at the old car here. Oh, wow. Old fashions? Oh my God. It's like. This is the sewing, the sewing machines. My daughter surgery. is loving this, and this she likes the fashion here. Right here, and then I guess I'm assuming. Oh that my God! That's something that they made, and it has wings, or whatever like that. I don't know. I'm not sure, so but that's very ornate. Catching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a real rooster crow. Is it really? Yeah. We should have bought the iPad, right? Mm -hmm. We should have bought the iPad. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what we, if we were going to be able to do this when we got in here. So, I was just saying, I know you said you didn't have room on your phone, so. Where am I at? Oh, Angela's at. Oh, okay. 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 Oh
Angela one. Maya Angela? There's some old quotes. I mean, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, yeah, it's quotes. Maya Angela's there. You love Maya Angela. Yes, I do. Oh, look, look, these are the dwarves. Fans, New Orleans Saints fans. Old quotes. This reminds me so much of my grandmother's house. It smells like my grandmother's house. So this stuff is like from the 1800s? I'm already, I guess. I'm assuming so from... From, from forever ago. What is that? Oh my god. The whole little family there. Look at there. Eating watermelon. I don't know how I feel about that one, y'all. The mammy figure. Oh wow. Look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness. And eating water. I assume these are the That's owners, crazy. the farmers, the masters. Wow. There's a little black sure girl. This is watermelon. for sale, right? It's a little bit more than some eating watermelon. Okay. Wow. We've come a long way, baby. The whole crazy. thing was on just for us. Look at that. Oh my god. Mm. What y'all think about that? Interesting. Interesting. Well, y'all, we, we could have called those line. They could have did a tour. I mean, we could have called that number, maybe. Yeah, that's what you had to call. It said that. It said you have to call. It said it on the thing. This is a lot of history in this one spot. Oh, look at the old radio. My mama had one. Old canned goods, you gotta be kidding me. Look at the old canned goods. Right there. Oh my goodness. Anything you could think of is in here. An old heater. Right, you remember these, right? We have one of these in our house. This heater right here. This reminds me so much of my grandma's house, I promise you. Everything I'm looking at looks like my grandma's house. Preserves here. Did you see the old phone? We're gonna make sure we sign in. Look, the visitor center's hours are here, y'all. Points of interest and attractions. There's here a lot. Here's a lot of more attractions you can visit. Here, I guess, this occasion in this. It's on the swamp lakes. Welcome to Laurel Valley Village. Oh, Ronnie, you signed me in. Okay. Fresh eggs daily, two dollars a dozen. Huh? I guess we could have called and see if we could have got two. Got one of them, but that's all right. We'll do it next time. What's that? This is a cool book, buddy. Might be just Find your place in history. That's, that's, that's for the that's not for the plantation. That's for the city, for this parish. Yeah. Oh wow. You can just hold it. You don't even have to I think it's other plantations right here. Look at that painting. That painting is fifty dollars. It's nice. Cafe Du Monde, old cans. There's Angel Heart. Yeah, yeah. Let me. There's my daughter. Yeah, is it red? Yeah. Is it just going to be fine? So we just get a random. Ask him. 
not, are we allowed to go to the train? I'm, sure I'm pretty sure. sure. Okay, Twice a day. Well, they usually around around two o'clock. They if they gave they've been given tours around two. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we will try to check it out. Thank you. You've already been to the back. What? Have you been to the back where the corners are? No. Yeah. No. We're we're about to head we back just to the house. we just stopped here. That house over there. Yeah. Okay. So we could just go out and go around back and, and we could see well, the corner? You can walk all around here, but you're going to have to take your car to drive to the back. Oh, I didn't know you could walk around. Oh, okay. It's two miles. Okay, right. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good day, sir. You said we could walk to the back and go to the quarters. You said, you said you're going to take your car to walk down. It's two miles. It's two miles. Oh. Oh. Let me do it again. Okay, one more time. Uh, we're out here at the slave quarters feeding goats. I don't know what it has to do with this, but there's speed for you to oh. feed animals. I know his eyes are. Really okay, give me mama on the phone real quick. Should I pet him, y'all? Nah, I don't do it. I don't think so. It's taking a little too far. I mean, I guess if you want to, if you want your hands to be goaty. He don't want eating. Nobody else trying to. Why have you okay. turned this into a petting zoo experience? Mama, why don't you do it? I promise Did you. Mama, you. was you even on me? Yes, I was. Oh. Who, Check and who see. Do you want to mama do didn't do it. Come on, Mama. Now I'm finna get you. You want me to get on my camera instead of your phone? Oh, yeah. He must, uh... Okay, y'all, we headed to the back. I'm not sure, but he just told us to go back here. He said those slave quarters go for like two miles. So we're gonna go back here. Cause I'm not sure, but obviously there's something back here. That may be an old slave. Is that a, that's not a quarter over there, is it? All right. Okay. So right back here, we're going to the sugar. I believe this is the sugar cane fields. Look at that old tractor back there. Look at that. It's kind of growed up here. But that's an old tractor. Can you see that? Little pull back so you can kind of see that old tractor. And these are the sugar cane fills here. Old car back here. We really, I don't think we're really at the effects of what it really is. We got to drive down because yeah, we'll the sugar down, cane is real. This is just showing you what it starts out by ass. It's a dog. So this is where so, they pick cotton? No, this is sugar cane. This is a sugar plantation. Oh. And so. This is, um, I have my pants rolled up, don't mind them. They were dragging the ground. But this is the sugar cane. This is where they harvest the sugar cane. I think when we go down the road that we'll get more of a picture of what the sugar cane look like. Uh, I grew up with sugar cane, so I actually do know what it looks like. It's not this little short stalk that you see here. It grows rather large and tall, kind of in the picture in the mind of corn maybe, but it, it's very tall. But they harvested the sugar cane to make the syrup. Now on this uh, plantation, there's there should be a sugar mill here. I don't see it, but like I said, the quarters go down for two miles. 
So we're gonna see if they're down there. What we just went to and you experienced was the museum and they have the little petting zoo up there, I guess I would call that quote unquote, it was chickens, a pig, and I'll go to whatever. I don't know what that has to do with anything, this plantation. But we're gonna go down two miles and we're gonna go to where the quarters are. So this is just a small view. I'm standing in this hot sun and we were just talking to my kids about um, the slaves working in the sun all day. You know, they didn't get an opportunity. Like I'm telling you, it's hot and I got my pants rolled up and I'm about to walk off and go back into some shade. This is what they did all day. And it was not, it was, you worked from can to can't. That means you work, you worked in the morning when you opened your eyes till you couldn't work anymore. So that you didn't get off just because it was evening. You got off when it was dark and you could not no longer see. And even that they was, uh, it said even the women sometimes after they left the fields would go in and there was more work and quota that they had to do so they would get would not get beaten so this is it standing here all day long in sweetie's rose here picking this sugar cane and let me tell y'all something about these leaves they're really sharp and sticky like i'm touching this right now but it's not like you're touching a piece of grass it's very sharp like a blade so your hands i'm pretty sure will get very callous as you continue to do it but yeah so it was not labor that was easy so just wanted to put that on your mind while we're doing this so yeah look how far those roads go so y'all it's amazing i kind of got my concentration broke a little bit when i came out of the museum because my mindset was in another place because i was like really this was really settling into me about what i was about to experience and so after um, stopping by and petting the goat, feeding the goats and chickens, it kind of was like, after I did it, I was like, okay, what does this have to do with anything? So anyway, yeah, reality. This is reality, guys, this is reality. Okay, here's the old car here. Oh, God. Why are y'all going that way? Okay. So this is an outhouse, guys. You can actually look and get inside of it. So who, who goes to the restroom? Just the slaves or everybody? Slaves. Okay, this is an old outhouse. I've never in my whole life been seen it. I've seen an outhouse. I don't even know if I've seen one in person, actually. I've never seen one. But this is an outhouse, still standing, still here. I've never seen one. Wow, amazing. So this is where the slaves go to the restroom. This is the only place they could go to the restroom. That's crazy. Just imagine going to the restroom. Mm -mm. In mm -mm. That's Still Be careful because that looked like poison oak or ivy to me. You don't know what that is either, do you? I do. Okay. Don't Mama, give me your phone. I'll get you uh, walking and stuff. Unless you're going to say something. You know, I bet they got these two houses up here so you can quickly go up and stand on one. Hmm? Oh. Ugh. The tub. You give my pants to walk for me behind me. Berries. We picked these all day as a kid. Berries. So what? I think I remember. You like when I was little. From your house? And yes. And at Granny's house, and they had berries. I don't see berries in a thousand years. Wow. Look at this. Oh my god, who picked berries as a kid? Okay. But anyway, I don't know, guys. My husband and son in law was freaking out here about a sign that blew off the door and the door opened up, and they don't know where the sign is anymore. 
There was two signs. There's another sign, I thought. Because this wasn't open. It says private, please stay open, off. Though. Unless it was like against the wall. That way it, it was a sign on the other side. Is that what y'all said? On the other side of this door? It was on, right there where that nail is at. Oh. Um, it says private, please stay off. I don't know if this is maybe an old slave quarter. I don't know. I've been to like house, a, 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 a overseer house. house. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh yeah, that is the big house. You're right. That, that's the big house down there. That's the big house. Oh. Is this the same one? Yeah. Right now, we've parked here across the street. Um, we we elected not to do the tours. First of all, you do have to call, and they probably will have let us in, but I just kind of wanted to take it in on my own. I really didn't want a guide or anything. But right here, you can see the building here. This is uh, the office. Not sure what function it held. I guess it was kind of the place where they ran the plantation. Maybe the watchmen or the overseers ran the plantation from. But it says Laurel Valley Office. What it says, Laurel Office, Laurel Valley Plantation, Inc. And I guess this is where they ran everything from. The main place where they got their orders, maybe. Look at that. You stand back so you guys can see that. Look at that. Now, y'all, as I stand here, this is history. This is real. This is what our ancestors did. <laughs> oh, my God. This is... This is where directions came to them on what to do. Okay, I see it. Here's a bayou, a bayou kind of running right here where the houses are. And there are the slave quarters there. There's another one there. This is just the, the back of the slave quarters. We have. A, I'm gonna walk out here in the street and go down a little bit. But back there are slave quarters. There's over like 50 quarters here. And yeah. Solemn man. This is solemn. Get that. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say, this is wow. I'm gonna walk up here to where the quarters actually are. We, we were in the back. 
let's go up to the road here. I'm parked over here. Over here, you can see we drove down some miles and there were a few more. Well, actually, it was just kind of open field there. But if you look across the street here, you can see an old truck sitting right there. Old barn, but you can see an old truck sitting there. More houses back off in there. Okay. So I'm going to take you guys up to this is a main road, so you can kind of just have to watch the cars coming because it's just off the highway here. But here, I don't know what, that's an old structure there. I'm not sure, it's an old brick structure. I'm not sure what that was here. I'm sure it has something to do with this. So right here, I don't know what that is. Something I've been the highway here. So. We're getting up. I believe this is probably a barn, right? And that looked like maybe something else. That may be a storage facility. But right here is one of the actual... Here, here comes the quarters right here. A slave quarter. This is what they lived in. Now this one looked like a double house, probably for a family. I don't know. I heard something about they said they had houses they call Creole houses. So I don't know if you call these Creole houses or what. But this is like a double house here. I mean a double. Well, yeah, a double house. So, you look over there, like there's a quarter back there. Maybe two families lived in it, yeah. I would love to go look and look in there and peer in there and see what it looks like, y'all, but look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, I don't know. Maybe they have a club, maybe a oh my god. Or something, if huh? I mean, if you go to Oak Valley, the other point they, they do let you go in them. Uh, it probably would fall apart. Okay, this is amazing that this stuff is still standing. Just look at that. So, there's another slave quarter over there. Back behind there, there's another one there. Here's another one here. Let's stand back so you guys can see it. It says, keep out. Keep out camp. I don't know what that means, keep out. And it has the word camp there. Y'all, this is history. Just what our ancestors did, y'all. They work for free. To, from can to can't. This is, what, this is why I'm here. So we can come to the realization of the truthfulness of this all. On this side over here is more plantations, more slave quarters. More slave quarters here. That one is kind of falling in there. Yeah, I did notice that. So, I guess they have caretakers that kind of look after these houses. I don't know. I did hear in a previous video that 
there's someone who lives down there where the big house is there but I, I think from my reading they redid the big house or something like that so I don't think I think they really tore it tore it down and redid something but look at that one you can see where the roof is rusted there look at there but yet it's still standing I built a pretty good slave house, huh? But to still be standing, right? They built it real good. Modern real good. Modern houses can't stand up to this. These houses are so old, 1800s, and this house is still stand sitting here. Slavery, slavery was abolished in 1865, and this house is still here, way before slavery ended. So just imagine they built this sturdy, that is still standing here. There's more quarters over there on this side. I'm kind of give you a view of the right hand side. I'm I can get up maybe a closer view with the ones on the left hand side of the road, but they're all up and down this road. There's houses just lined up in rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's some on the other side. So you leave the fields, you go to the quarters. no light just what they said there's another one back there and just think when nighttime came, there was no street lights. nope was no street lights no nothing look at that you could almost see in that one right there you can see where the planks have kind of deteriorated on this one over here you could almost peer into it this one right here you can almost look into that. It looks like some of the tin is laying in there from was when it was once there. This one is kind of rotting away. It's kind of falling apart. Actually, is this the front of the house? You can see them all back there. Okay, y'all, we're fretting because we didn't take the tour. We didn't. We didn't know that they were going to actually take you to the quarters, but they are. There's some more quarters there. You called it this? Oh, I thought, I thought we figured it out. Oh, I just want to see if we could just walk by ourselves. There's some more quarters. This one actually has screen doors. Uh, that's amazing. I see it's a little bridge that you could cross over. There's a bridge you can cross. Look at that old screen door there. They're standing on the actual porch back there. I am so jealous. They didn't answer the voicemail. Okay, I don't know how this one got burned up, but there here's one of the how quarters that is completely burnt. There's some more quarters, guys. I don't know what happened to this house. Yeah. There's an old outhouse here. Look at there. Look, there's old outhouses, y'all. The quarters. Okay. Okay. So, guys. So guys, I just found out that they're gonna give us a tour. Oh my God. So I'm gonna end this footage of me walking along by myself so I have room enough to do the actual quarters. She's gonna come back and she is doing us since it's Mother's Day, she said she wouldn't mind just doing another tour for us. Um, 15, uh, 
about 15 to 20 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna come back, guys, and we'll get an actual chance to go in the actual quarters. I got put the Guadalupe there. I love the Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. You like the Guadalupe? Trinity River, mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Trinity River. <laughs> well, we don't want to float uh, Bayou Lafourche because there's actually gators in there. Mm -hmm. and oh, wow. Many of, you know, so back in the day, they had all the gators. They had all the snakes and things here. So early settlers came here. They understood right, right away that this is a very important um, roadway. So there was so much that was swampy through here, and you couldn't get very far back. So anytime they settled, they really had to settle right here. Um, it was the safest way. It is very flat through here, but the mosquitoes would have been thick. The gators could have been bad. There was, um, you know, all types of, just like in, in the Texas job. Okay, guys, we got into the tour. And so we're back here with the tour guide and we're now inside. As you can see, we're, we were out there earlier. We're now inside where the slave quarters are. We just left the Laura Valley store where she gave us a lot of history of the, of this area, of Bouche Parish. And so we're now actually back where the slave quarters are. And she's gonna finish the presentation. But these houses that I was showing you from the street, this actually is a schoolhouse, I believe. And you can see we were standing there. Remember, we looked at the burned down slave quarter. Now we're inside the actual quarters in the area. We're inside the gate. So that's the schoolhouse. And here's our tour guide here. As you can see, it says quarters. but they put um they had the fence up but they preserved all of this mm, yeah. all of these other plantations took everything down right right they kept just the big house yeah what's so they amazing did. about this place is that when you think that these homes are the ones that are standing, not yeah. the big house. I mean, they're actually, yeah. and there's just stories to be told, right? right. Yeah. So um, these <clears throat> paths were just put in here kind of during the pandemic. Um, they had so many people asking for tours because before you weren't really able to walk through here. Mm -hmm. um, so um, we are still really trying to get the story together. So um, that online. this is the original wood. This is the original roofs. There's been a few changes here and there, but for the most part, these are original. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to show y'all a picture right here. Um, I brought this out. This isn't normally on the tour, but I had printed these out recently because we want to do info panels out here. So these are what the homes would have looked like back then. So this is a huge sugar mill. Yeah. Um, so that is this little section right here. So all of this was here, but it's all gone now, yeah. right? That's a lot. Yeah. So if you imagine this whole like industrial complex basically Absolutely. is wow. gone, but these are still remaining. That's crazy. Right? It's a lot to it's a lot to that's think about. It's a lot to think about. It is. So you know what I mean? There's a lot of stories to be told here. Yeah. And that is what is so awesome here. And honestly the okay, owners still speaking. Do you know let me let me share yeah. something with y'all personal too? This of course not part of the tour. Um, because you know, people want to come and they want to go through the tour yeah. and then move on. But um but Bill told me that um he had um began everything. Mm -hmm. Um uh, and decided that, that he wanted to put the pathways through here and really open this up because normally people would just drive down the road and they could yeah. um, hear the story. Maybe a tour bus would come through and somebody would kind of speak over the speaker. Yeah. But it was private land. You worry about all kinds of things. Insurance, somebody going to get hurt, any of that kind of yeah. stuff. Right. And they could go to the front and, and you know, have a lot of questions answered there, but they could drive through here. Yeah. But he said that people kept stopping and saying, what, what's back there? And he right. realized, we need to open this up. You know, a week later is when the Facebook Live video came through. It brought a lot of attention, and he really? said, "He said God did that for a reason." Yeah. And because whenever I, he told me that story because whenever I came here, and I said, "I'm telling you, God brought me and have the right people." Yeah. If we want to have church services, so this was a church. They said that I, I didn't come here when the steeple was here, but yeah. this was both used as a church and it was used as a school. Mm -hmm. Now know that like this right mm -hmm. here was built for a movie that came on in the '80s. Actually, Several started that movie time. last night. Yeah, so the movie um, that came out was called um, Gathering of Old Men. Yeah. And I kept hearing about it. It's one of the first ones that was shot here. Yeah. And so I started watching it last night. Louis Gossett Jr. And I can't think of the, the lady that said it. She's well known too. But um, great movie is that started it. Good so far. But um, so that 
was, I believe that that was done for the movie Gathering of Old Man in the School. These are original wow. here. Oh, um, the, the slate is original. Um, the pot belly stove here is original. That but the corners are like shorted up a little different, but it'd be like the original wood. Mm -hmm. But also, okay, so notice the white paint that's here. Mm -hmm. That is like, you know what I'm showing you here. Now again, this is just this little small piece here. I'll put it out in the sun so y'all can see. Um, eventually we'll have big info panels here to show a lot of the history. That's good. Um, but the buildings would have looked like this. The yeah. homes that everybody lived in back there. Because the paint would have helped preserve them. Because um, yeah. So you know, you didn't have like polyurethane and all back then, right? So the, but the paint would have helped protect So this things. is original wood? All this is the original wood, yes. Now this wow. here, it uh, looks like there's like maybe a little um, aging and that type of thing here. But the electricity was, uh, I guess, just put in for the movie. Oh, um, okay. I mean, obviously it wasn't back then. Um, and I don't know if they might have added it at some point just for or updated it um, to help show, you know, for different things here. Crazy. Um, it is the original desk. That is the original chalkboard. Wow. Yeah, now um, they said that whenever they would have French, they'd have a lot of French guests that would come through here um, that are going to see all of the plantations now that all kind of stopped during the pandemic. But they said they would invite the French guests to come in and write all the messages. Um, I see. Y'all read French. I can't um, read French let though. Us know if it's uh, appropriate. I'm sure it's, it's fine. <laughs> I but, can't um, read French. But yeah, so the French guests are all that. But all of this here, the podium and this little platform, would have been built for the movie. Crazy. Oh wow. Wait, so that's that's this the is writing yeah, from yeah, the yeah. Yeah. No, she said French guests would come here and just write stuff on the board. Look at that old stone. They have redone the floor, but a lot of these have the original um, floors over here. Wow. They just <laughs> Amazing. That's original wood. Can you believe that? Original wood. I cannot. I it absolutely original, thought, that was wood. absolutely preserved. Yeah, Can you believe no, that? that's Cypress. It's Cypress. And um, um, I guess y'all know this. Y'all see that we have like advertised, so you're not finding a lot. We're just trying to want to go properly. I don't want to get too big. I didn't want to see people open the floodgates yet. I said I want to get things in plenty. were built with a front door here, front, I mean, a, a front door over here on this side. And I oh, it's exactly what I thought. Right? So um, a family would have, would have lived here in one room, and a, family, a whole family would have lived over here in one room. Now the back would have been a porch just like this originally. Mm -hmm. It's kind of um, the standard Creole wow. style home where the air can just move And this through. is all original. This is all original. Even the fireplace? Not that, yes, fireplace oh, all original. The flooring is not. The okay. flooring, just so they want it to be safe, but yes, all of this original. In fact, I'm trying to see here, in the other side that I was in today, one of the reasons that you can know that a lot of it is original, and I don't see it on these boards, but I wasn't there, is you'll see the cut marks, the way that they, the, the sawmill no. and the board. Um, so was that double this double, this room or these two this rooms a, adjoining to each other where you could cross over or was it actually closed I, right here? I don't know that. Yeah, I, no, like no. where I'm looking at this hardware, this is the old hardware. It looks here. like someone cut so, out. So and that's what I think too. I think that they cut it out because it's, honestly, you would have been able to walk the front. It would have been more private perfect. this way. Yeah. And I do. I think that this is a is a duplex. You know, and, so, and I don't, I don't mean this out in that terms, but it's that a uh, family would have lived here mm -hmm. and a family would live right, right next door. Just, now these bricks, I want to show you all this. I mean, this is like at my sister's home. It's the same where they, on these old plantations, they would um, bake the, the um, 
the, the clay there yeah. and make their own bricks. Um, so uh, in my sister's home, the same thing happens where um, the little orange ash comes right down off of that. But this color here from the bricks, well, the same color as this, the little markings, better here. And as you see it here, yeah. um, I don't know exactly what these markings are. You see my family came through and some of these well, our work in the decoration here. Yeah, yeah. Wow, so, so the they paint would have been original. Um, now, y'all have to remember, these have been here for years. Now, this looks to me. I'm trying to see if this is original. This might have been, this was probably new here. You see the nails? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is new here. But that's original now, you can tell. Yeah. 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 Right, right. So, um, so this is the, um, the, the Morton and Entire family. Entire family would live right here. That's right. That's it. Yeah. That's wow. It. So um, this is called mortise and tendon here. You see how the construction is? They didn't have nails back then. Mm -hmm. So they would have um, notched right in here. Right. You put your um, support in. Um, so everything was done by hand. So this uh, wood would have been cut right here on the property and built right here. Well. Mm -hmm. So is this screen door original or just something they added I, I later? Think that I don't was think added. Yeah, that was added. Yeah, I think they added even these, screen doors back then. These here were, they're saying that the devils were here about 18, between 1815 and 1870 or so. Okay. And then back here, this would have been a porch, right? And we just would open just like that. But eventually, they added a little chimney here for their pot belly stove. They would have had their pot belly stove here. And then here is where the... Um, yep, the little chimney would have gone to the stove pipe, and this would have been their laundry and their kitchen at the time, and a pantry would have been here too. But before that, everything was in one room. Right. Everything was in one room. But you, and, um, so this was added. This, this was added. So right. this was a forge like, originally. Like, it was closed well, in. They did not have all this they did luxury not. No. back here. I was, was like, okay, right. okay. It was just closed in. But, um, so that Boudreaux home that we saw in front was built in. 1860, right? So that family that was there, um, we know that at the time of the 1810 census, there were 13 people that were living in that home. That's the one beside the store, right? That's the one beside the store. Yeah. All right. So um, many of the Acadians that came along, um, he was able to get that Spanish land right on the side, and he was able to um, support his family um, on you know, subsistence farm, but just enough to support his family. But that is the only um, property, I believe, that was here at the time, and then Tucker came in, like we said, yeah, Tucker came in with 22 slaves, mm -hmm. and then um, at the time of Tucker's death, um, there were um, eight homes here. Mm -hmm. There were 131 slaves at the time. So now we do the math, you do that is 16 math. rooms, <laughs> right? That's 16 rooms, and you divide that by two, so that is um, eight individuals living in a room, uh, probably about of this size. Now, I showed you some of the pictures just so that we can picture them as uh, maybe painted white, and that would have just preserved, wouldn't have been anything special because um, yeah. that's what everything would have kind of been. But um, what they did have, and you've probably seen some of the images, if you look at the old images of Laurel Valley, there's some uh, like from 1905 or so that are out, and that's from around that same time of that, that sugar uh, meal that I showed you that picture. Yeah. Um, that was an architectural group that came in here. And um, they took aerials from being, I believe, at the top of the, um, the water fountain. It, not water fountain, I'm sorry. Um, water tower. They're mm -hmm. top of the water tower. And so they got up as high as they could. They took photos. And you could see some of the village. And at that time, you see the little fence. So much like we see this fence that's right out here. Um, each of these homes would have had a fence that went around. The reason they had that is each home had chickens and they had a farm. Farm. They had a little garden, so they were able to um, raise their own um, food and get eggs and um, and plants. Wow! Um, so hold on. different experiences. Um, wow! Okay, so I want to continue to talk about Caleb because Caleb was taken out with a musket ball during that Civil War. Um, he took a musket ball to the head during the, um, the battle at Vicksburg in 1963. Mm -hmm. At the same time is when the big house was burned here. Mm -hmm. And the Union Army came in in 
and they destroyed as much as they could. They were doing that to all of the plantations along the bayous. Um, they took, for anyone, actually they were doing that for um, any of the plantations that gave them loyalty to the Confederates. Right. So they took 300 mules, they took a thousand barrels of molasses, they took a thousand barrels of sugar, they took all of the wagons. So, Architecture on the properties are shotgun houses, and y'all are familiar with the term shotgun houses. Yeah. And then y'all know um, why they call them shotgun houses. Yeah, well, straight there. The it looks straight there. Right, you can see straight through, and the air. Think about this one. This one would have been a single family home, right? So even though it looks smaller, um, at least the family's able to live there by themselves. So. I wondered that. I wondered what yeah, some of them like for the, uh, for the tenant farmers. That's what I'm saying. I mean, your privacy. Right. Right? I mean, well, it's a really small one. Here we are. It's 1895 to about 1900 are um, these homes here, the shotguns. Yeah. Now, um, this is the time that um, we have um, Birch Wormall who came after um, the war. After, after the Civil War, we bought it. He's the one that put in the railroad. This one has been shored up, obviously, you can see over the years. Yeah. They've tried to restore and keep them up as much as they can. But, yeah, it could be. And then we have to also think about, I don't know how these have stood all the time with this hurricane. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. 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 they have stood the first time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Different, right? 
Maybe if we step back yeah, for a second. Scoot back and let's see if you'll see. It's a little wider. A I believe it's a little okay. wider, right? Yeah. Now we know that there's that is like entrances on the side. Right. So, so um, this is, this is a story that I'm told. Home or no, this was actually made from Envy. So oh, um, they like okay. rebuilt. They use the materials, and um, there's some things that are original here, but a lot of it was made for the movie, and a lot of it's perspective. So they needed a deeper porch. They need to be a little wider. Um, I'll show you something on the steps in just a little bit, but this is made for the movie Ray. So I Ray Charles. So. I thought so. That's yeah. the first thing I was thinking about was Ray. Yeah. yeah. So Jamie Foxx won an um, Oscar with that movie. Uh -huh. So um, um, what? I'm, I, it's been a while since I've been saw the movie. Right? I forget when that came out, like 2005. Oh wow! It's an like, old been a, movie. It's an old movie. It's an old movie. That's it. That? What do you think about the scene? You still remember the scene? <laughs> I remember mom his crying and running. Brother, his yeah. brother, um, they say, drowned in a scene in the Absolutely. movie. Absolutely. And that little bridge that we just crossed, yeah. there was a canal, and that's actually where they filmed the scene right there. In that oh, canal. wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so crazy. Inside. Here, we'll get the side and let y'all peek in to see what it would have been like. But um, this is different, too. I can could, I could tell that this wow, chimney this. has been rebuilt. Yes, it is. Oh, this is for the movie. And, and so they would Look at this made, long table. I think that some of these plants, some of these shots over here, they would have had two rooms as well, even for a family, just to divide it up. But for the movies, they needed it to be fully open here. Something over here. So this table here. They, um, these panels right here can be removed. Oh, So wow. they can fully pull that out and they can get a camera in here if they need to. Mm. And then if they need to be a little bigger, they can move. This is a whole panel. So they can take out a whole section, just take out little bits. But they could film a whole scene as they need to. But y'all feel free to walk around. All the this paper that's here, that would have been just for the movie, of course. Look at this. That boat was made just for the movie. Oh, that's nice. So, I'll just mm. show you this way. So, I mean, it was a house, it's, I'm, I'm not, but they did let like, the music to film. I will say the size of this is anything, uh, some little apartments or like studios, right? Yeah. So you think about how you can set things up, how you can kind of put a little seating area over here, a little kitchen area over here. So, the size of this it's really about the same size as these, because they might have just been a little bit wider just for the movie, but the yeah. length of everything is pretty much so. So this whole house was built for a movie? This whole house was built for a movie, but it's like some of the original wood and all. Yeah. Uh, there are some original pieces, but, um, but a lot of them are still the same. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I just said, I feel like I'm back at home in East Texas. Yeah, my, see my all this family always Houston. told me, they said, if you see one of those out there, they like, don't get near it. Um, you don't want to fall down? Fall down Is the that well? a well? Yeah, yeah that's oh, what I thought it was an old well. Yeah. Um, so, so these were um, very small houses, but you can see there's different rooms here. That's where I want y'all to be able to see them. Okay, this is the inside and the corner. Mm -hmm. So we, there's really no way to really know if any of these are the original slave quarters. What is, what's inside there? 
This was the, the remnants of the sugar mill. Well, no, the barrel. The sugar, mill. Like sugar? sugar? Oh. I guess sugar. What are so, I'll, um, as we get over here in a little bit, I'll finish telling y'all about the mosaic disease and what happened. But first, I'll tell you that this 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 mill operated until 1926. So, if you remember that um, Etienne Boudreaux, mm -hmm. he was not a sugar planter. Uh, his subsistence farmer that planted just for his family. Mm -hmm. Then Tucker came in and that was, he was a planter that came in from Natchez and that's when the sugar and it was, uh, um, they had the, the sugar mill at the time. But then we had um, the Civil War and everything changed. Um, Thank you.